Okay, so I looked around and I saw Patton here. Um, what do you want to do? Take all this. Close the window. Um, let's see here. I always start out with the checker. Um, so open it and go in here and just delete this and then control V. Um, and then we are basically ready to start compiling. Um, so um, I just keep hitting F7 uh, here. So all this, this line has nothing to do with uh, OSL. You can delete all this and you can delete this one as well. And you can delete these three here. So we're actually only uh, interested in uh, this function and the function beneath it. This function is a uh, classic way of doing uh, an initial hash that is a random, a random value, if you would like. Uh, <coughs> we have a couple of problems um, and I wanted to explain that you have uh, these two brackets here uh, around the main body of this function and we have them around the main body in this function and the, this function is a void and this is a float the name is main and the name is hash and these things in here this is the UI uh, or inputs or outputs into this function here so um, so let's see here uh, let's start here I'll move to keyboard only um it's 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 saying in the um down here uh it's saying um, unknown structure name in that's because we don't have that in the OSL, but it is an input uh and um we're going to move this to a vec3 so that's going to be a normal vector with uh three inputs um so let's compile that. Uh, it says uh, unknown struct name vec3. That's because uh, we actually have a, uh, a three lane vector in also It's just not called vec3. So we can just tell this name to be a vector. Uh, define um, vec3 vector. So now we, 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 we just basically just root um, also root the uh, vector into this vec3 thing here so every time we write vec3 it's a vector so what's the next thing okay it says it's a vec2 see I'm, I'm always looking down here uh, looking for clues uh, moving this to 3 so you can see here there's a comma here if I do like this becomes more visible like like this there are two numbers inside this one and it's because we originally it was a uh, vec2 we moved to a vec3 so uh, just putting in a number or a zero or 3.45 for example and we can shrink this number down doesn't mean much um, Let's try and compile it. So it says fract uh, was not declared in the scope. And fract is basically, uh, it's taking this vector, whatever this vector is, uh, that's our UV, and then take a dot product of that, and then this uh, hard-coded uh, vector here, and returns a number between uh, uh, theoretically and um, like this oh uh, like this so between 0 and 1 it will always return a number between that and that's practical in, in, in many 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 situations okay so let's build this fract um, you only need to do it one time per type uh, float vec2 with vec3 and vec4 in this case I know we need a both a float and a vect uh, vector 3 uh, so let me generate the float fract we'll actually we we'll actually um, we we'll actually give them the same name as long as the type is different um, 
So, uh, oh, this is a float, and the input is a float value. And uh, let's see here, I'm going to put these two brackets in here. I'm going to return uh, x minus floor x. <coughs> that is basically uh, standard math. Uh, it takes some input minus the floor, uh, and you get the fraction, the number between 0 and 1, always. So this one will always return that. We also need to set one up uh, for a uh, vector. So if we pass in a vector into this fraction here, we get the same on all three lanes. Uh, return uh, x minus floor x. <coughs> So uh, now we sorted our two fract functions here. I compiled, so it's complaining down here. So okay, so, uh, so we have this initial hash here, and we have these two helper uh, functions up here, and we have the define up here, it helps us a little bit. So this is actually our shader, this is our main shader body, so I'm going to write shader here instead, and we call this um, I forgot what the uh, what the thing was for some kind of random tiles. Um, so and then this area here, this is our this is our user interface. I'm going to put this one down here. So everything in between these two guys, this is our user interface, and. I'm going to pull this one back and between here and here this is our body. So let's try and, and compile this one. <coughs> I'm going to shrink this a little bit down so we can see what we are doing. So that's a VEC3. We are going to go with VEC3 or VEC2. It was VEC2 and now we want VEC3. So let's see here. So this is GeoFrag code some number and some resolution okay that's fine um so i already know that uh gl frac code is the uh, uv uh it's basically uv information uvw information so we need to set up a point in the um our connection in the user interface so we can use the um the uh, uv transform down here to pan and tile it and rotate it and do whatever we want and I usually call this po. Um, so uh, instead of this <coughs> geo frag card here we're going to call uh, po. This is our position, this is our UV, this is an, an adjusted UV um, but the thing is that, um, <coughs> that um, this resolution here uh, I know that the value in geo is uh, 1 or one thousandths of uh, <coughs> um, or one thousand. Uh, so basically, we can just skip this, and that also means if we uh, we divide with one, it becomes the same. So we can we can just do like this. We can actually remove this, make it tighter. Uh, let's uh, let's compile it. Okay, so we went with vec three instead. I'm going to change that down here as well so and we did the fract function up here already so it's going to go jump down here and in OSL we um, we only have X Y and C <coughs> if we are constructing uh, vector 2 uh, structures or vector 4 but that's not for now <coughs> we're using a vector here so instead of X we are going to use two brackets and a zero so, uh, and the same here. So, and if it was Y, uh, we would go with 1, and C is 2. So that's how you go about that, converting that. So, and this was uh, the X channel. So let's uh, try and compile this. Um, we have some more. You can see down here it complains X, Y, X, Y. You can... You can fix a bunch of them. Let's fix them all. That was channel Y. Let's see here. 
to the X like this and Y so so this should compile now and um, so this is our output in GL <coughs> it's called GL frag color typically or something we're going to call ours uh, out and in uh, OSL we don't have a vec4 out uh, we only have a vec3 so if you want alpha you need to pass the alpha out into a separate out output <coughs> you can pipe uh, three color channels and an alpha through one output in OSL it's not possible so but you can always just generate a new output so let's try and, and compile this. Oh, it says uh, line 46 error out was not declared in this scoop. So let's declare it um, to this output. Uh, uh, let's see here, put, and we're going to make a color uh, and we catch this out. Uh, and we initially set it to nothing but we fill it with uh, this vec3 line down here so oh, it says uh, compile okay so let's try and see here <coughs> let's try and see here let me um let me cook up some some material here or some some plane um let me go up here plug this one in there go like this show realistic high quality so you see here there's our pattern it's very um, it's very small so um, so that's why um, typically it's it's small um, so that's why you just want to plug in the UV transform into this node and you should get a reasonable okay size here so so that's it we now generated uh, I think it looks uh, like this one yep it does so so that's how you you go about that and, and clean up something like this and this is the approach it's worth to know that if you use this uh, other side, uh, there will be a lot of these fracked. So, uh, so just do that instead of uh, coming up with something else. You could use mod and, or fmod. Uh, 